Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share my Psalm vlog on Psalm 10, verses 10 to 18. Hear the desire of the afflicted. The helpless are crushed, sink down, and fall by his might. He says in his heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand. Forget not the afflicted. Why does the wicked renounce God and say in his heart, you will not call to account? But you do, but you do see, for you note mischief and vexation, that you may take it into your hands. To you the helpless commits himself. You have been the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evildoer. Call his wickedness to account till you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations perish from his land. O oh Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. Psalm 10, 10 to 18. Excuse me. There's just some something in my face like a hair. According to the ESV Student Study Bible, as the wicked person oppresses the faithful, he assumes that God has forgotten them, that God is indifferent to their suffering. The faithful mentioned this to God, asking him to show the wicked that he has not, in fact, forgotten his people. The ensuing verses call God to action and to confront the evil things done to those who are helpless. The fatherless and the oppressed were mentioned in verse 18 as in those times, the Old Testament law is full of warning about oppressing such people as the fatherless. That's in Exodus 22, verse 22, and Deuteronomy 10, 18. The cry for God to deliver these oppressed people from evil is their faith that God is king forever and that he will keep his promise to his people. Adoration. Praise the Lord who is king forever and ever. Confession. Lord, help those vulnerable and weak people to be protected from evil. Thanksgiving. Thank you for giving me an occasion to witness suffering so I can pray for those who are persecuted, oppressed, and discriminated. Supplication. May all God's people continue to believe and hope despite trials. Reflection. How can a plea for the vulnerable play a big role in their deliverance? Well, if you go back to the Bible and see those people who have prayed intercessory prayers for people, just like Daniel, how he prayed uh, for uh, his people, the Israelites, during the time that he was there in the Babylon, and while he was still praying, it was answered. So when um, w when Daniel was uh, the Daniel's friends were going to be uh, put uh, killed in in the fire, they said a prayer and God heard them. So when we pray for someone in. Uh, and we believe in our prayer because the Bible says that if we believe already that we have received what we prayed for, then we will have it. So faith is very important in, in your prayer. And pleading for, to God for someone, God loves that because that means that you are depending on Him. That you know that it's in your prayer that He can activate what help that He wants to give to others. Um, in, in this psalm, we hear the lament of the psalmist that he wants God to hear the desire of the afflicted. And eventually, um, they may not be able to see, sometimes we don't see that God is already moving and God is already giving our prayer, and yet we don't see it because we have a certain uh, thing that we think the prayer 
should be answered, but usually God already answered it all. Or sometimes the answer is no, sometimes the answer is yes. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that you will be able to keep your eye on uh, praying for those who are undergoing uh, persecution, those who are being abused, those who are uh, going through a lot of difficulties in their lives. Thanks for watching and I hope that you stay um, safe in this uh, time of pandemic and that you will be able to reach out to God and ask God for help. So check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs and a sample of one of my artworks this very recent um, behind me uh, is uh, but you can check more of my artworks at ilmaars.com and I hope you subscribe to this channel on YouTube video for more videos about God thanks for watching